Hey art friends, today I am going to show you some different shibori techniques. Shibori is a Japanese way of folding fabric and then dyeing it with indigo. Since we don't have indigo, we're not going to be using that today. We're going to be using what we have. And if you have a piece of fabric, then you need to gather some permanent markers. And if all you have is a black permanent marker, that'll be fine. And then if you have if you don't have fabric, then you can get a piece of paper towel and just some Crayola markers, washable water-based markers. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do both of these. If you have the permanent markers, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol. And if you only have the um, water-based markers, you're just going to need a little cup of water. So let's get started. So we have to start with the fold. I'll start with the paper towel fold. I'm going to fold both pieces the same way. So you're going to start with, at the bottom, with a, a short accordion fold. Um, one way to get make sure that it's even across here is you can fold this in half, and then fold this in half again, and then turn it over and fold that down. And then you've got it perfectly accordion folded, as you can see there. And then you need to fold it um, accordion style down this way in either squares or triangles. So I'm gonna do squares on this one. So I can, to get it perfect so it doesn't, it's even, and fold it in half. Then fold it back. Turn it over and fold it back one more time. So there it's folded in an accordion this way as well. And then you can just hold this together or if you have a chip clip or a clothespin, you can clothespin it to make it stay just so you don't have to keep refolding it. And then you're going to take your water-based marker and you're just going to color on the edges. I'm going to do the same thing and fold it in half, take the top edge and bring it down, flip it over, and bring, fold that other edge down. Now for this one I'm going to do the triangle fold. If you've ever folded a flag, it's kind of like that except it doesn't wrap it up, it will, you'll have the accordion fold. So I fold one corner down to make a triangle, then I flip it over and fold the triangle down this way. I don't want to keep folding it like this because it's going to wrap my fabric up. I want the edges to still be on the outside. So the accordion fold does that. Flip it over and fold, flip it over, fold down, flip it over, fold to the corner over, fold down, and you might have a little extra like that. You could cut that off if you want or just leave it. It'll be fine. And then again, using your clothespin to hold it together or you could just hold it yourself. And this is where you need to use your permanent markers. And do the same thing that I did with the paper towel except now I'm using the permanent marker. Now that I have my fabric or, and my paper towel all colored around the edges, I've got water in this bowl and I've got rubbing alcohol in this dish. And I'm gonna, you can just dip it in with your hands or if you wanna use your clamping tool to help you, you know, just dip it in. You can already see how the color is spreading. Just by getting it wet on the edges there, you just dip it in. You don't leave it in there for a long time. Then you can leave it folded up like this or unfold it. Um, either way, you're going to let it dry for a little while. 
and then just if you have the permanent marker fabric and you'll need your rubbing alcohol you do the same thing so here are my final products this was the triangle folded piece of fabric it's still a little wet um, but once all the marker had spread out it makes this nice triangular kind of sideways diamond square pattern and then for the paper towel you've got the alternating colors and a really cool checkerboard or grid pattern with your fabric if you want to do this on two pieces of fabric you could make a pillow out of this fabric for this piece of um, paper towel you could just make a wall hanging out of it put put it on a, a stick fold that over and then you can hang it somewhere in your house once it dries it will be beautiful if you try out Shibori at home, please email me a picture. I'd love to see what you create.